I was tutoring a client yesterday and a question came up about how you could select a single service such as here A, B, C or D and that would drive different options in the background. As an example, the service type is here and depending on what service type you select you have different types of water temperature, shampoo and duration and then the last field joins them all together. So this is one of NAC's very powerful features which is rules and this one we're going to do with a conditional rule. So this is the clips object. There's a number of fields in here that have been added over time, but the ones we're interested in are the type of service, water temperature, shampoo, duration, and this last one here, which is a concatenation of all the, uh, the last three. So looking at the type of service, this is a simple multi-choice field with four options, service A through D, and it's just set as radio buttons. The water temperature is also multi-choice, and I have three options, cold, hot, and warm. Shampoo has three options. And lastly, another multi-choice field, which is duration, which we have three time durations. So just bringing up the spreadsheet again, what we want to do is if the option selected is service A, I want the water temperature to be hot, the type of shampoo to be pet head, and the duration to be 15 minutes. And obviously that changes as we go down with the different services. So on the first multi-choice field for water temperature, you'll see here I have four active conditional rules. So I'm just going to click on the field itself and then you can go to the conditional rules at the top and I've already set these up. But to do that, you simply check the box and add a rule. So I'm just going to add one down the bottom to show you. So add a rule and we need to make sure that we add a criteria. So in this criteria, I'm just going to replicate what I've done. I'm going to say that where the type of service is A and I just bring in my spreadsheet back on. So my type of service is A, I want the hot water or the temperature for the water to be hot. So I set it to a custom value of hot. And then you can copy this rule and then do option B and work your way down. So I'm just going to delete the, the ones I've done there. So looking at what I've created, rule one, type of service is A, it's hot water. If type of service is B, it's warm water. C is cold and D is once again hot. So this marries up with my different options across here, looking down this column against the service. So then the process is the same for the shampoo field. So if we go into that and conditional rules, add a rule, create a criteria to say that the type of service is either service A, B, C or D, and then select your option and save that one. And then the same thing on duration. Conditional rules, type of service is A, set it to 15 minutes, B, 20 minutes, C, 15 minutes, and D, 30 minutes. In my last field, which I've called concatenated service, it's a text formula. And this is just pulling through the different fields. So water temperature with a comma and a space, the shampoo and the word shampoo after it with a comma, then a space and then the word duration with the field of the duration field. So what this will give me is a concatenated string that would say something like hot water, pet head, shampoo, comma, duration, 15 minutes. So going over into the pages section, uh, this is my page and I have a menu here to add a clip. So I simply put the type of service on this form. If I go to my live app, click on add a clip, and I'm going to say service B and submit. And as you can see, service B has gone in, in it's warm water, shampoo is C and G pets, 20 minutes. And then this is the concatenation of that string. And if I just bring my spreadsheet back on service B should be warm water, C and G pets, 20 minutes. So I hope you found this of use. Uh, the case that we were using yesterday wasn't for dog grooming, it was for um, financials, but hopefully that gives you a, a feeling for uh, how this could be used with conditional rules in the background. Thanks for taking the time to watch and I'll catch you on the next one.